this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do this flat double crochet join. Now I have used a contrasting colour which would give this really nice kind of arrow effect, however you can use the same colour as your border to give a seamless joining effect because you won't see it at all with your um, with the same colour as your border. Um, it's totally up to you how you want to use it, you can play around with it. I have used Paintbox Simply Aran, I'll leave a link in the description box below of the blog post where you'll find all of the information of what I have used including the written instructions for this pattern as well. I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook with my yarn but of course you can use any yarn and corresponding crochet hook you like. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a darning needle to sew in your ends. As always if you like my videos don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment in the comment section and share with your friends if you enjoy it. Also click that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of my latest videos. Okay let's get started. Okay, so when you're joining your granny squares, you want to have the right sides facing you. And what we're going to do is join the columns first. So I would put them side by side and then join all the way up the column. So for example, if I take these ones here, I would join all the way up. And then I would move them across and then join the next columns. And then I would work across the opposite way. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. And we're going to first of all take our crochet hook um, and with a slip knot on. And we want to find the corners. If you are unsure of where your corners are, I would suggest that you go ahead and uh, place stitch markers in the corners just to make it a little bit easier for you. So what we're going to do here is take our first square and we're going to insert our hook into that corner stitch. And we're going to do a double crochet. So it's yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through. So we've done a double crochet in there. We're going to pull up a loop and then take out our hook. And then we're going to go to the corresponding stitch on the opposite side. So we're going to insert our hook into the corner of this square, like so. I'm going to insert my hook back into that stitch and then I'm going to pull through for a slip stitch. I'm then going to go into the next stitch on the opposite side and do a double crochet. So remember I'm working in UK terms, in the US that is single crochet. Pull up a loop on my crochet hook, insert my hook into the next stitch, so just move that uh, loop out of the way, go into that loop and then pull your tension tight and then pull through. Go into the next stitch, do a double crochet, lift up the loop, Hold on to that loop, insert your hook into the next stitch and then back into the working loop and slip stitch. And this is what we're going to do all the way up. So double crochet, pull up a loop, hold the loop into the corresponding stitch on the other side, pull on your tension and slip stitch. And what we find here is that we get like an arrow look. So you actually do have two strands coming across here. So we have an arrow effect on our work. Obviously, if you use the same color, this would be pretty disguised and you wouldn't actually see the join. So it depends what look you're going for. Obviously, I've used this contrasting color so that you can see what I'm doing. But if you wanted to have a really seamless look, you can use the same color as your border color. So I'm going to work my way all the way up to the next corner space. So where my chain one is in the corner. And then I'll show you how we're going to then connect the next lot of squares onto here. So pause the video, work your way up to the corner and then meet me back once you're ready. Okay, so here I've worked my way up to that chain one space and I have now taken my next squares and what we want to do here is exactly the same as before. So we're going to find that first 
stitch, so into that stitch, and then do a double crochet. Take our hook out, and then find the first stitch of this square, so that chain one, go into there, pick up the loop, pull on the tension a little, and then connect. And then just carry on as you have been doing and adding as many squares as you need to onto this column. So I'm going to go ahead and finish joining all the way up this column here and then I'm going to come back and show you how you are going to work across this seam here when you're working the opposite way. So pause the video, finish working your columns and then meet me back once you're ready. Okay, so I've just worked my way up to this join and what I'm going to do is show you how to get from this side to this side. And what we want to look for is that first stitch just on the opposite side. So we're going to go into that same stitch and do our double crochet, lift up, and then the same stitch and slip stitch. And then we're just going to continue as we have been into each and every stitch. So you're just working over that section which you have already worked into. So I'll just do a couple more so that you can see the join. The joins admittedly can be a little bit fiddly just because you have to be aware that you're carrying your yarn at the back. So you just have to play around with how you're holding it, but then you have a nice neat join as you're going through and the, um, the arrows go from one way to the other. Now you can play around with this if you want to. So for say for example, you've done your columns this way, you could then on the next one work the opposite way. So turn your work round so it looks like the arrows are going um, the different way. So the options are endless for you really. But there we have the double crochet flat join. I'm just going to finish this off, working my way to the end, and I'll show you what it looks like once I've finished. Okay, so here we have all of this joined. I just think that this gives a really unique look to your work if you're looking for something different. Um, especially if you had plain squares, I think this would look, look really nice. It would just give it that extra bit of um, definition to your squares. As I say though, you can do this in the same colour as your border and it will just blend in really nicely. It will be a really nice seamless join. But I really hope that you have enjoyed this. Don't forget I'll leave a link in the description box below for the blog post. Don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. Leave me a comment in the comment section and share this video with your friends if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye.